I'm Mia Hutchinson. Welcome to my office in Victoria, BC. I'd like to show you a series of eight hand positions called mudras or inju that were brought to us from Japan by Jiro Marai and Mary Burmeister. At the turn of the last century, Jiro Marai devoted his life to finding the knowledge of uh, the energy meridians in the body. He uh, was able to do this because he had a lifestyle that allowed him to do it. And um, he uh, found that uh, the meridians of the body, um, when they are blocked or um, the pathways are, are not, not freely flowing, uh, could uh, cause serious disabilities. However, when they're open, um, then you could have a state of uh, total harmony of body, mind, and spirit. And um, he noticed in the devotional paintings, Buddhist devotional paintings, that the beings represented there um, often had their hands held in very specific positions. And this was what uh, basically inspired him to his quest for knowledge about the ancient healing arts, and which eventually became known to be uh, Jinshin Jitsu. So uh, let's get started. Oh, I wanted to mention about these mudras that um, you can do them daily or you can just do them whenever you feel the time is right. Um, they are said to be, uh, uh, they will increase consciousness, uh, bring us to higher consciousness, and also uh, when you're Breathing, what you do is you breathe through the nose, uh, you inhale and exhale through the nose. Okay, so let's get going. Start with the first mudra. And what you do there is you take your right hand, the thumb of your right hand, and you put it on the opposite underside of the opposite middle finger. So, uh, like this. And the other fingers you just wrap around on the, other, on the top side of the middle finger. And this is the first position. Uh, this helps the exhaling breath as it descends the front of the body from the top of the head to the tip of the toes. Now mudra two is simply taking the thumb from the underside, bringing it around and putting it on the top of the same middle finger and wrapping your remaining fingers around on the underside of the middle finger. So uh, this is mudra too. And this helps with the inhaling breath. So the inhaling breath comes up the back of the body and from the toes to the head. And mudra three, you just take the, um, you look your two, your left hand, I should say, uh, ring finger and baby finger, and you, you wrap the thumb, the right thumb, around the palm side of those. And then your remaining fingers wrap around the front side of the two fingers. So you've got your thumb on the palm side and your remaining fingers on the top side of the baby finger and the ring finger on that hand. And this mudra helps with the exhaling breath. Um, it is a very calming mudra. Um, it's great for releasing tensions and stresses. Then the fourth mudra is you take your right thumb and you put it on the top of the left thumb, index, and middle finger. And then the remaining fingers are on the underside. They wrap on the underside of those three fingers. So it, it ends up looking like this. <laughs> now, mudra five is using the right hand. You make a circle with the middle finger on the right hand and the thumb. What you do is you put the uh, ring nail on the middle finger of the right hand on the pad of the thumb, making a circle with a little ledge at the end. 
So then the thumb of the left hand comes over and it sits on the ledge. What you have is uh, kind of a pretty little thing that um, this helps with both the exhale and the inhale and it is very good for releasing toxins. It's great for the lymph system and um, it's a nice one. Okay, then from there we're moving on to the sixth mudra and that is you make a ring finger again, a circle, using the um, ring finger and the thumb. Now the thumb, the pad of the thumb goes on the uh, nail surface of the ring finger. So that's the circle you're making. You can do it with both hands or you can just do it with one. And this helps both the inhale and the exhale also. But what this does is this really um, helps deepen the breathing and uh, so the breathing helps with vitality. It also is very good for emotional balance. And then uh, we're moving on to the seventh mudra. Now the seventh mudra, what you do is you put the, thing, the palms of both hands together and the fingers both together. And then you clasp the fingers but leaving the middle fingers extended. So all the other fingers wrap around each other, but the middle finger fingers are together and they are extended. So this, I should say, mudra helps with the um, exhale and the inhale of the, of the breath. So it's both, both, both the um, descending and the ascending energy. And the last mudra is mudra eight. And this one's a little tricky. What you do is you put the um, fingernails of the middle finger, that's the fingernails of both middle fingers together. And then with the remaining fingers, you just kind of put them wherever it feels most comfortable. Um, so I think you could see that here. It is um, a little awkward at first, but this, was, this one is um, also good for both the ascending and the descending energy. And um, with the last two mudras, number seven and number eight, it is only recommended that they be done for around 10 minutes, under 10 minutes each, or a total of 20 minutes. Um, the other mudras you can do for longer periods if you want. You can isolate them, you can do one at a time if you want. Um, this one is actually, the number uh, six is actually really good if you're out walking, um, say you're climbing a hill or climbing stairs. This can really help with your breathing. If find, if you find you're short of breath, um, try this and you'll notice that um, you're able to exhale and inhale more fully. And so you, you know, you'll, you'll feel better. Um, then uh, the other thing is that um, with all of these things, you know, more is not necessarily better. Um, so, and certainly with the last two, uh, keep them down in, in, to the a length of under 10 minutes per uh, time for length of holding. And um, that's it, and I hope you have a lot of fun doing these. Thanks very much.